Oh, by the way, and you can think of other definitions of space. I got one for you. Are you ready? So airplanes use fuel. Uh, it's, it's called what, aviation fuel. Mm -hmm. There's a word for it. I forgot. But anyway, it uses fuel. So fuel, our common understanding of fuel is you burn it and then energy, you get energy. But what does it mean to burn it? It means it gets attached to the oxygen molecule, uh -huh. creates a third other product, right? There's that molecule, the oxygen molecule. They merge and make, and make this other molecule, and it's exothermic. Energy uh, gets generated. Okay, that's how cars work. That's how airplanes work. Well, where's it getting its oxygen from? The atmosphere. Okay, wait a minute. But if you're a rocket and you're going to where there is no oxygen, where there's not much oxygen, you got to bring your own oxidizer. You can't depend on the atmosphere. So you, so you could say I, you enter space at an altitude where an airplane can't get enough oxygen to fly anymore. And it just drops out of the sky. That's an interesting threshold. You could have done it that way. Because above that, you need a rocket. And we all know rockets equal space. Okay? There you go. I can think of 10 other ways you might define it. But so, I'm, just, I'm just saying, just numbers and measurements of things are not, they're not written in tablets. They're, you have to agree on what it is you're trying to measure, write down that number, and then move on. 